What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to go over bond rings real quick and explain those for people and kind of show them how they work. So bond rings are just like emblem rings, except they are weaker in a lot of aspects, but they still give you stat buffs. So as you can see, you know, the really shiny, glowy ring, those are emblems, and the ones that are silver, bronze, or gold, those are bond rings. And you can see Gene here doesn't have anything equipped. Now, bond rings, if you have them, which you should always try to get them, especially once you're starting out, because any kind of stat increase is always going to be good, but obviously you want the stat increases to kind of match the unit type, you know, match their class. So how do we get more of these? How do we get bond rings? Well, you go into your uh, Samanel, and you go to the little ring thing, the little pedestal, and we'll go to create bond rings. Now... As you get more emblems, each emblem has their own set of 40 bond rings. Mind you, they're 10 characters that have four rings each, varying in rarity or tier. Now, you could say this is a gotcha mechanic, I guess, but it doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. No money, nothing. You just use your bond fragments to do this. So, basically, the goal is to get the highest tier of every unit. So, well, every bond ring, I guess. There's 10 characters for every emblem. So far, I believe that's the keys throughout the whole game. It goes bronze, silver, gold, and I believe like platinum is the last one. I, I don't recall off the top of my head. I have to double check that. But obviously, the higher the ring, the more stats it gives. Now, how do we get these? Well, let's just go to Makaya here. Create one. We'll make one here. And boom, we got a B grade. HP 2, luck 1. Okay, cool, I guess. you know It's a new one. I don't have that one yet. And there you see it fills in the spot right there where Nalaya is. And that's it. Now, what do you do if you get a bunch of bronze ones or silver and you want to go to gold or gold to the next? Well, that's where you go to meld bond rings. And when you meld them, you have to have two of the same type. So see, we have two maize here. And that's all I have. So we will go with this. Now, if you look... It's going to gain the speed plus one stat, but it will lose. It just is still magic one. So we meld. It's not magic two. It's only magic one. There we go. Now it's speed and magic. Basically, the difference being is when you look at these... They do cost bond fragments as well, mind you. So pay attention. A thousand for... It's a hundred for a bronze meld. A thousand for a silver... And it goes up, obviously, the higher the meld you're doing. Now, you only gain one of the other attributes of it. So it's not like if I do this, I'm going to have speed 2, magic 2, res 1. No, it's it just adds more of the, of the single to it. Now, if something already has 2, well, that's fine if something already has 2. Because, see, now we're getting strength plus 1. It just won't stack. But if there's something... But HP 2 is usually how it is. It's never like HP 1. And I've never seen any of the stats other than HP B plus two. So just keep that in mind, but something to consider. And then, you know, you just keep doing that and you're set and you can eventually get the top tier of every ring and have the top tier of, you know, every, everybody. And then you can kind of pick and choose what you want. They do, do have RNG though, as in they have like, you know, the random stats, like every bronze or silver, ring of like let's say i don't know tiki on here they're gonna have different stats so just know that the higher the rarity the more stats it has that's the main difference and that's pretty much how bond rings work like i said create them when you can try to spend those bond fragments use them you could also use bond fragments on engage weapons to make them better you know but i would say getting your bond rings done first is more important. I'll have a video on engage weapons. I think that's a whole separate thing. This is just about bond rings and explaining how to utilize them and what to do with those bond fragments. But like I said, put them on every character, get the stats looking good because why not? If they don't have an emblem ring, they might as well have a bond ring. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you got any questions or comments, please drop them down below and I will hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later guys. Peace.